Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Craig Spencer, and I am the network executive for 2KCW and Reign of Chaos Wrestling. My job allows me to be the head booker for both shows while working with the networks to provide the best entertainment possible for you, the wrestling fans. Now, with all that out of the way, I have an announcement to make. Our next event is the 2KCW Girls Grand Prix, a one-night-only tournament where the women of 2KCW take center stage. Previously in 2CW, the, women, the winner would receive a trophy and an accolade of being the winner of the Grand Prix. However, that is going to change. The winner of this year's Grand Prix will fight to become the first ever 2KCW Women's Champion. Now Dizzy Jet has already earned a bye to the final seeing as she is the only undefeated competitor here in 2KCW. We will announce the bracket as we get closer to the Grand Prix. I can also confirm that a former 2CW competitor will be involved in the Grand Prix. Thank you everybody so much for your time and enjoy Adrenaline. Well ladies and gentlemen, that is a huge announcement from the new network executive Craig Spencer. I guess he's been running the show for some time, but yes, welcome everyone to 2KCW Adrenaline coming to you from the Giants Stadium here in Hershey, Pennsylvania, Chocolate Town. Kicking off the show is going to be none other than Devin Andrews. We confirmed for you last week he was going to be in singles action kicking off the show. And he's going to be doing that here in moments. He'll be facing off against Keith Mayfield, the other half of the Red River Connection. Devin Andrews owns a win over Buck McCoy. Previously on 2KCW. So we will see if Keith Mayfield can earn a win back for the Red River Connection. So history will be made, as always, at the Girls Grand Prix for the first ever 2KCW Women's Championship. Exciting times and well deserved for our women's roster. A big round of applause for the women in 2KCW. And here comes Keith Mayfield, accompanied by Buck McCoy of the Red River Connection. And speaking of the women's division, we have Charlie Evans in a handicap match later on tonight against the Suicide Blondes after Charlie has victories over both members of the Blondes. If Charlie can upset the Blondes once again, maybe a hell of a feat to accomplish for young Charlie. And of course, after this match, we got the tag team titles on the line between C Batteries and the Awakening in a Tornado Tag. And here we go, matchup underway. Devin Andrews, right hand. Going after Keith. Keith looking for a cutter of swords. Devin with a counter running shoulder tackle. Taking down Keith Mayfield. Now a scoop slam from Devin Andrews. I guess intentionally or not, he's made quite a an enemy of the Red River Connection. Or at least, again, just beating Buck McCoy at an earlier point. Cover here. It's one of the show, and they kick out at one from Keith Mayfield. An elbow right to the face. Oh, make your eyes water into a flapjack from Keith Mayfield. And then, of course, in our main event, it's going to be Reed Carter taking on Eric Anderson for the 2KCW heavyweight title. You don't want to miss that match. And the reason that they've gotten to that point is Reed Carter 
defeated Anderson when Eric Anderson was still fighting for the 2KCW title. Crucifix bomb from Andrews cover here with both feet well within the ropes and here comes Buck. To play as a distraction for Keith Mayfield. Teardrop suplex almost like an Olympic slam there from Keith Mayfield. Cover here off the kick to the back. Only a one count from Andrews. I mean, I'll be right up front. The, the Red River Connection are one of the two toughest dudes to ever step foot in the ring. Reverse STO from Devin Andrews. It's the cover, and again, Buck. Buck better watch where he's going. Watch what he's doing, because he's going to either probably cause a disqualification for Keith, or, oh my God, referee knocked down. Devin looking for a kick to the gut, but Keith able to counter it. And now fall away slam from Devin Andrews. And again, sending Keith into his own corner, which is not great strategy on part of Devin Andrews, but I don't think Devin even, quite frankly, gives a damn. Given his time in the underground. Fighting superplex from the top rope. From Devin Andrews. And again, Buck McCoy sticking his nose where it don't belong. In this match. Side rushing. Slam there, looks like, from Keith. Back body dropped by Devin. Seems like for every move that Keith makes, that Devin has, a, has an answer for it. And now Devin... Up and over, guillotine, leg drop. On the ring apron, cover here. It's gonna be enough to put away Keith, no. Mayfield still alive. Here against, drop toe hold into the modified STF for a regal stretch here by Keith Mayfield. Devin able to fight out of it. Setting up. Looking for maybe it was the final judgment. Hard to tell. But now he's setting up for the blackout. The blackout delivered to Keith Mayf. Oh, come on. The referee's dealing with Buck outside the ring. Devin can't get a cover or get the victory again Buck's going to watch his step otherwise it's going to be a disqualification or he's going to at worst he can get this match thrown out in favor for Devin Andrews or get himself ejected out of the matchup cover here by Andrews kick out by Mayfield I'll give Keith this he's lasting longer in this match clothesline Take down Andrews. That's lasting in this match longer than Buck did. That's for damn sure. So I guess give him credit to Keith Mayfield. Now Andrews looking to sweep the legs or trying to get some kind of advantage by attacking the feet of Mayfield. Mayfield's just telling him to bring it. another scoop slam there by Devin Andrews. And then palm strikes just shoving down Mayfield. Cover here is. Andrew stares a hole through. Buck McCoy kick out by Mayfield. And a back elbow from Mayfield to Andrews. Now Mayfield power bomb transitioning into the Boston Crab and forced to break the hold. As Devin was well within the ropes, shoots the half into the cover off the. Seconds the Boston Crab was in there. Kick out by Andrews. Hell of a match to kick off the show. This hell to kick off adrenaline. 
Collar and elbow tie up. Evan Andrews getting the advantage. Side headlock back elbow from Mayfield. Now repeated punches in the ropes. Could almost go for a TKL if he really wanted to. If this was a boxing match, but this is a wrestling match, so. The referee can stop at any point. Leaping leg knee drop. Now Andrews busted open. Off the knee drop. Counter by Andrews. Andrews set up and over the top rope. And Mayfield bring him back inside. Seems to be disorientation is the name of the game. Another drop toe hold here by Mayfield into the submission. And again, Andrews had his hands well within for force a rope break. Andrews again another clothesline into the corner. Maybe looking for the blackout again. Now opposite corner goes Andrews. Back elbow by Mayfield. Into the knee lift. Mayfield looks absolutely spent in this match against Devin Andrews. Now Andrews maybe looking to put the match away. Give himself a 2-0 streak here against the Red River Connection. There's the final judgment cover. Now Buck McCoy just dragged the referee. And I think Devin may have thought he won the match there, but the referee's outside the ring. Body drop by Mayfield. Andrews has no idea what the hell just happened. He thought he won the match, and quite frankly, I wouldn't blame him for thinking so. And Mayfield with a power slam. Rolling into the cover here. Off the power slam, Mayfield gets the win over Devin Andrews. Some may consider that an upset, but it may be just a matter, been a matter of time for a break for the Red River connection. Whether it was in singles or a tag team competition, but take a look at the replays. I mean, all's fair in love and war, and that's exactly what these two did to kick off the show this tonight here at Adrenaline. Almost have to wonder that if it wasn't for, I mean, because if I recall correctly, Keith and playing that big of a role in Bucks match against Devin Andrews so maybe Keith thought he was owed at least some kind of insurance policy for Buck being outside the ring but I mean Buck definitely did his job that's for sure as Keith Mayfield celebrates a victory over Devin Andrews coming up next ladies and gentlemen two KCW tag team titles on the line and tornado tag team match Go, folks one of the fastest rising tag teams in 2kcw history and i'll be quite frank the c batteries curtis christian and cameron neo plain and simple how they got here they defeated every damn tag team there is here in 2kcw except for the tag team champions first time that these two teams would meet and of course it would be for the tag team titles really hard to believe that these two guys came together just similar story that they were being attacked by two giants in Tonga and Sawyer Justice and they came together and they've essentially cleaned house again here in 2KCW so at this point I wouldn't be too surprised if they walk out with the titles but that's up to uh, the champions and what kind of mood that they're going to be in here tonight. Here comes the Awakening. Obviously, it's a tornado tag match, so Akira Yamashita, their third member of the Awakening, not able to join them in this match. 
Jushin Sakamoto, the White Ranger. Akira Matsumoto, the Green Ranger. And of course, they're the Tag Team Champions. But will they be come the end of this match? We'll have to wait and see. If they can hold on to the Tag Team titles for another night. prestigious two KCW tag team titles even being held by player Uno and player Dos otherwise known as now Evil Uno and Stu Grayson of AEW's Dark Order Awakening, taking a possibly a last look at their tag team titles, defending against a team that they never face. Well, these two teams never face each other to begin with. C batteries, here we go. Great crop. Let me try that again. Great cooperation between the C batteries. And here we go. Matchup underway. Tornado tag rules. Matsumoto pairing off with Curtis Cameron with Jushin and Curtis and Matsumoto spilling outside the ring Matsumoto with a headbutt of sorts the abdomen of Curtis Christian is Sakamoto taking care of Cameron Neo inside the ring It's hard to keep track of anything that's going on. Snap Mare into the Enziguri outside the ring by Matsumoto. And Jushin Sakamoto missing a move there on Cameron Neo as Curtis Christian is taking care of business from outside the commentary table. Deep Frog back elbow countered by Jushin Sakamoto into the Katsu release suplex. This could be anybody's ball game to be perfectly honest with you. Sagamoto wrenching the neck of Cameron Neo. Cameron trying to fight here. Duck under into the drop kick. Counter to a double foot sum of his own from Cameron Neo. Jawbreaker by Sakamoto. And we can go back and here's Curtis Christian and Matsumoto coming back inside the ring. Cover here by Sakamoto. Match going at 100 miles an hour as I'm trying to keep up with it. Matsumoto, Sakamoto, Springboard drop kick to Curtis Christian. And now Matsumoto setting it up. Christian for the Dragon's Breath. Into the cover to retain the titles here. And Sakamoto knew that enough to pose and they are still the tag team champions the awakening and that match was all just 100 miles an hour with no breaks as the tag team champions make quick work of their challengers and we see the final moments of Dragon's Breath from Akira Matsumoto. And that's going to wrap it up for the C batteries. And their shot at the two KCW Tag Team titles. We'll have to wait and see who could be the next challengers from the Women's Grand Prix in a few weeks' time. The 
Awakening celebrate with the crowd here in Hershey, Pennsylvania. As we now move on to our women's handicap match. Charlie Evans on a hell of a run lately. Again, defeating both members of the Suicide Blondes, Paige Storm and Cindy Danger. In one-on-one -on -one competition, Cindy laid out the challenge to Charlie. If you think you're so tough, you can take on both of us at the same time at Adrenaline. And Charlie obviously accepted, so otherwise we have this matchup. And lightning strike three times for Charlie Evans. And her luck, and her odds here against the Suicide Blondes are her luck about to run out against the Suicide Blondes. The Blondes are one hell of a cohesive unit in our women's division. It should be interesting if at any point they could face each other potentially for the girls' Grand Prix in a few weeks in Binghamton, New York. Become the first ever 2KCW women's champion. Charlie Evans. A tough task to hand, taking on the blondes. And here we go, Cindy Danger starting for the Suicide Blondes, spinning elbow from Charlie Evans, taking down Cindy Danger into the corner. Running forearm, taking down Danger. To the next snap from Charlie Evans. Also, now would be a good time to check out our Twitch channel for Random Chaos Wrestling if you want to catch the show live. So it goes live every week on Twitch, and of course, the tape delays will be on YouTube that following Saturday. Cindy Danger dragging Charlie into their corner. Tag meter comes Paige Storm. A fist drop from Paige Storm. Taking down Charlie. Cover here. Not even a one count from Charlie Evans. Also worth noting during this broadcast that if you are, if you if you or someone you know is an up and coming wrestler and wants to join 2KCW, make sure to leave some information down in the comments section. And we will take a look at your application and See if we can get you enrolled into the 2KCW Training School up in Syracuse, New York. Cover here. One count for Cindy Danger. Or excuse me, Paige Storm. Charlie Evans not really getting the good... Trying to get a good spot here against Paige Storm. Running around, they go into the shoulder tackle from Storm. Charlie able to hold on her own. And a backflip celebration from Charlie Evans. Now here's an interesting thing. If Charlie can pull this off, if she can pull off a count-out victory over the Suicide Blondes, it's still a victory. Whether it's a handicap match or not, but I think for the pride and respect that Charlie wants to earn in this match, she wants to do it inside the ring. As Paige gets her face introduced to the barricade here for the fans in Hershey. Now Charlie may be looking for that spine buster if she likes to hit, but Paige countered it into a DDT into another fist drop from Paige Storm. High angle drop kick taking down Charlie. Charlie sent into the blonde corner. I mean, where else is she supposed to go, to be perfectly honest with you? Collar and elbow tie up. 
Charlie gets that exchange. Drop kick missing. Storm spinning heel kick from Charlie Evans. What a beautiful sequence there from our women's division. Now Charlie Evans with a sunset flip bomb. Into the elbow drop from Charlie Evans. And now Charlie into the standing Spanish fly on Paige Storm. As Charlie's trying to get the crowd here and Hershey behind her cover. Only a one count from Paige Storm. I mean, miracles can happen in the world of wrestling. That's for damn sure. If Charlie can knock off the blinds, that'd be a hell of a feat. Uppercut by Paige Storm. And Charlie into the ropes. Paige. Getting a running start here, looking for just to hang her up on the middle rope. Charlie Evans, nowhere to go. Introduced the turnbuckle, tag made. Into the fist drop from Cindy Danger. Cover here, and Charlie still fighting. Here against the Suicide Blinds and referee taken out inadvertently. And now Cindy. Up on the top rope looking for the cross body. Thought she was looking for danger close. Now Cindy running leg drop into another. Cindy elevated famous sir to Charlie Evans this is going to be enough to put away Charlie off the famous sir one two three yes it is the suicide blondes had to use the numbers advantage to put away Charlie Evans I mean that was the point I believe that Charlie was trying to reach anyway that even with one of them out on the ring side area as a manager that they couldn't beat her and a two on one advantage where Charlie had nobody to tag out to and the blondes would pick up the victory so kind of a double edged sword that we have here that we have strength in numbers versus that you always need backup whenever you can supply it so There we see Charlie had no choice but to take that fist drop. As Paige held her hands behind her back. The Suicide Blondes have defeated Charlie Evans. Almost echoes what we saw earlier with Devin Andrews and Keith Mayfield here at Adrenaline. That's neither here or there, but ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is our main event for the 2KCW Heavyweight Championship. Don't go anywhere. And here we go, folks, with our main event of the evening. Heavyweight title on the line. Coming out first is the challenger Reed Carter. Reed Carter has gotten into the head of the champion. Reed Carter came out in a rematch from Unfinished Business between Leroy Punch Beef and Eric Anderson. Just to get a better view of what Reed has to do to defeat 
potentially defeat Eric Anderson here at Adrenaline. Can watch all the tape that you want on your opponents, but there's always going to be some surprise tricks that nobody can find in a tape of matches. But I'll have to remain to be seen to see if Eric Anderson can pull the rabbit out of the hat and pull out something we've never seen before. From two, from Eric Anderson, the two KCW heavyweight champion. The Norse horse himself. That's what it's for, our main event, the 2KCW heavyweight title. Reed Carter from Springfield, Illinois. And then Eric Anderson, the Norse Horse, the Iceman from Copenhagen, Denmark. I read it before Norse Horse because it rolls off the tongue better. Anderson made it title defense number two here against Reed Carter. Don't have to wait long to find out. As this matchup is underway. Here we go. Anderson laying down the strikes on Carter. Carter not going down. And Anderson with a suplex. The Venom suplex of that. And the go-behind German suplex from Reed Carter. And we know that Reed Carter is a co former college wrestler. Just working the collarbone of the champion. Anderson, wrist lock control to the shoulder tackle. And now focusing on the left arm, the left elbow of Reed Carter. And Anderson with a, or excuse me, Reed Carter with a knee lift. Take it down, Anderson. Carter sends Anderson to the ropes, running clothesline to the back of the head. Now forcing him into the cover. One, not even a one count. From the champion. Left hand missing into the flapjack into the ropes cover. One count from the champion. Carter just clubbing the back of Eric Anderson. Those solid right hands up and over we go out the ring. Down to the floor. Anderson with a series of strikes and now keeping control of Carter to the corner of the 
the guardrail. Now in the power slam position, Carter carrying the champion. Count of seven. Anderson's gaining control. Anderson wants to retain his title the right way. So back inside we go. And again, keeping control in the back of the neck. From Anderson, slingshots Carter back in the ring. Now isolating the left knee of Reed Carter. And now, with the Owens bidding, cover. Oh, well, Dragon Sleeper Slam. I keep getting those so confused. They're so similar. As a Dragon Sleeper Slam from the champion, Carter. Anderson. Climbing up to the top turnbuckle. Looking crossway for the Valkyrie strike. Goes for the elbow drop instead. Now Anderson sweeps the leg. Transitions to a Boston crowd. Great technical wrestling there from the champion. Carter able to shove him off. Spin corkscrew missing from the champion. Belly to belly. Overhead belly to belly from Reed Carter. Can Carter be closing in on his first championship? Power bomb. Not quite the going nowhere cover here by Carter. Kick out from Anderson. Oh, now Carter's looking for the Ricola bomb that he calls going nowhere. Traps the arms into the going nowhere. Rolling into the cover to win the title here. Kick out by Anderson. Great resiliency from the champion to kick out. And again, Carter focusing on the collarbone. There's a pocket of nerves there in the collarbone, and he knows it, and he's isolating it. Back elbow. Disorienting the challenger. As you can hear, the crowd pop for Eric Anderson. Belly to belly suplex from Anderson. I believe some trash talk is being delivered by Anderson. As he's just waiting for Carter to get up. Back body drop by the champion. Kick to the back. And again, Anderson looking for the Valkyrie strike. Is he going to be able to deliver it this time? He's calling for the Valkyrie strike. Not a lot of distance to cover. Seen it countered many times. Not going to connect that time. Oh boy, now Anderson with the Ricola bomb of his own. To Reed Carter, power bomb. Now Anderson singling for the end. Here we go, now it's time for Odin's bidding. Cover to retain the title here at Adrenaline. Yes, Eric Anderson. It's still your 2KCW Heavyweight Champion. What a grueling match between these two for the Heavyweight title of 2KCW. And there we see the Dragon Sleeper slam. Now you can see why I get him confused between that and Odin's bidding. Great technical wrestling on display from both men. Hell of a match for the greatest title at 2KCW. Now Anderson gets to celebrate his victory. Now wait a minute, Devin Andrews. Andrews, we saw him lose to Keith Mayfield earlier. I'm probably sure he's going to find me in the back and punch my lights out and let me know it. Anderson, Andrews laying out both former challenger and the champion. God. 